Yes, you read that title correctly. What I'm about to talk about today is so grotesque, so not right that I'm looking left towards the wall because I can't look straight into the camera. But you know what is straight? Grooming women. Actually, you know what? Discord mods straight be grooming women nowadays. The average Discord mod is anywhere between 34 and 39 years old, and the average victim is anywhere between 11 to 15. In this wild, wacky, and kooky world we live in, people have thought it's a bad thing to go ahead and groom people. Now, back in the ye old days, men were able to get away with this left and right but nowadays if you try to go ahead and groom a 15 year old you go to jail what's changed well today i'm going to go ahead and tell you what's changed and why can't we simply groom women nowadays now there are three reasons and all of these reasons are important but i'll let you know this right now the first reason why people aren't grooming people the way they used to be is law enforcement nowadays with the invention of the iphone with, with the android with the ipad with technology cell phones back 50 years ago if you were grooming a kid it didn't take it took years for them to find out but nowadays as soon as you say hmm i like that dress you were wearing but i you get reported to the discord mods and you get reported to discord tos then you get reported to the authorities then you get reported to uh florence maximum security prison it just doesn't make sense. Nowadays, you can get just one compliment, dead, gone, and gone sex offender registry. That is not good. So that's the first reason why we're not allowed to groom women anymore is because law enforcement, people are just straight snitching on us nowadays. Can't you let a man breathe? Can't you let a man live? The second reason why we can't groom women anymore is we no longer talk up to women solely to gain something from their property. Now, nowadays, everyone thinks marriage is about love and sanctimonious, sect religious uh, ceremonies. But I'll let you know this right now. 300 years ago, 200 years ago, nay, even 100 years ago, it was a lot different. Back then, marriage was more of a business deal, a business transaction. Once you knew the bride's father was going to die, you were going to inherit all of his land, as, long, as well as all the farmland, the properties, his head of cattle, all that. But nowadays, because people want to pussyfoot around what actually marriage was all about, they want to go and do this for marriage and stuff like that. Now, because we've been focusing more on love rather than property, this means that the age to go ahead and get married has skyrocketed to the average of 28 years old, when back in the 1700s, it was only 19. I believe if we go back to a society where we only care about what the bride's father has, instead of caring about what a woman has, we'll go ahead and be able to groom people left and right 10 times quicker. Now, you may be wondering, oh, don't you want to go ahead and have a wife that's going to go ahead and treat you like a king? Exactly, she is going to treat me like a king, because guess what? If I'm marrying only for property, if I leave her, I just take her property. She's left to the dust. She's a woman. She does not get a say in this matter. Also, if you're marrying for love, many people think it's weird that a, a 16 year old or 17 year old can't comprehend the meaningless sacrilegious feeling of love. However, if you're marrying them only as a business deal, you're able to take that age and bring it, slam it to the floor. That's the reason why you can't groom girls no more. However, if you go ahead and just say, I'm dating her only for her daddy's money, then people go ahead and look at you as you're deranged, but guess what? You're the one that's gonna be getting brains when she turns 18 years old. Exactly, because guess what? You made that investment four years ago and now it's coming to fruition. Take that, liberals and commies. Anyways, the third reason why we just can't simply groom women anymore is because birth control. Yes, birth control. Now stay with me, kids. The average age for the first woman to go ahead and get birth control is 15 years old. The prime of her life, the prime of her fertility. And if you go ahead and date her any further, she's not going to have the ability to bear your offspring. Birth control destroys the female psyche and withers away all their feminine emotions that they are inherently born with. However, Nowadays, since women are starting to be, you know, subdued and wrangled back in from the grasps of femininity and feminism and societal standards, we are now getting them back into their reins, back into their place as homemakers and mothers in society. And 50 years from now, we may have a society where birth control is no longer needed and their brains are one with nature again. But until then, I must say that birth control is one of the other contributing factors of why you just cannot simply groom women anymore. It's because it does not, it makes them cold, it makes them heartless, it makes them like stone, like rock, like steel. It doesn't make them nice and warm and buttery and gooey, like a cinnamon roll. And if I see one of them eating that birth control, I'm gonna treat them with a cinnamon roll, but I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on that. Anyways, if anyone ever says to you, you're creepy for talking to someone who's four years younger than yourself, go ahead and say, yeah, and? 
That's it. Just say, yeah, and what are they going to do about it? Call the police? Just say, I ain't talking to no one. Those messages, those ain't me. What date were those messages sent? What time were those messages sent? How do you know that's me? Discord ad, man, my legal name. My legal name ain't that. And then bada bam, you're home scot free. Listen, if my parents can have a seven year age difference, you can have a 10 year age difference with your cutie 16 year old waifu. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leland King Fawcett for president. And keep grooming out there. Don't worry. We'll all have a wife one day. And she'll wake up, roll over, look at us in the eyes and say, I love you every morning. Soon, men. Soon. Don't give up hope yet. Don't give up hope yet.